a black hero, a black goddess, a black icon by the name of Dr. Francis Cress Welsing has left this plane of existence. Dr. Welsing, a native of Chicago, Illinois, was the daughter of Henry Cress who was a physician and Ida Mae Griffin, who was a teacher. One person who was in the medical field along with another who was in the educational field produced this great master teacher who was advanced in both areas. She broke down the science of white supremacy in a way no one had done it before her in such a way that if you did not understand what she was saying, you more than likely were afraid of the truth. And this was exemplified in her masterpiece that she wrote titled The Isis Papers. When Francis Cress Welsing went on to talk shows, whether it was to communicate with the white supremacist who tried to challenge her, or a mentally deaf, dumb and blind, or even traitor treasonous type of Negro white supremacist sympathizer who tried to challenge her, she stayed on code and stood her ground while maintaining her stance on the system of white supremacy. But there were also those instances where she would be on a talk show where the people who loved her and supported her gave her the floor to speak the gospel of black self-love to her people. It is for that reason that we must give honor to brothers like Tariq Nasheed who made Hidden Colors, Owen Shada who made the 500 Years Later documentary as well as others who have had her on various talk shows whether it was televised or on the radio. If you have not studied any of her works, I suggest you do so now and recognize that she was a prophet on this planet Earth which is why what she has said is still relevant to this day. Do you wonder why she was not on mainstream media as much, because she did not make the establishment feel too comfortable? Black people cannot afford to go out of their way to make white supremacists feel comfortable while trying to dismiss black pain, and this is why we love and honor Dr. Welsing. This black queen was uncompromising in her journey to free her people from the mental shackles of the captivity that has been ongoing for centuries now. Frances Cress Welsing has joined the ancestors, just like Malcolm X, Betty Shabazz, Elijah Muhammad, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth and a long list of others who are known as well as not so well known in your life and minds. Dr. Frances Cress Welsing is no longer just a person on earth. She is an ideology, a philosophy and an eternal point of reference for God's true chosen people. Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, may your spirit continue to protect us from those who wish to do us harm. Thank you for your service. We are forever grateful.